Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a Costa Rica vlog. So as you guys can see, I am currently in Costa Rica. I am only here for the week, but I haven't really been vlogging because I just wanted to kind of relax and enjoy my time and really take this time like off. But I wanted to still give you guys a little insight to what I'm doing and give you guys a little vlog. And I got pretty burnt on my front half, so today I'm just gonna lie on my back. But I'm in this beautiful Airbnb. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour later. Um, but I'm gonna do my skincare. Okay, then me and my family will probably go and get breakfast slash coffee. I'm not super hungry because I had a big dinner last night and I've been snacking a lot. I need to actually shoot um, some work there. So hopefully my brother can help me. It's very sticky here. Like I'm very sticky. You can probably tell my face like I'm like <laughs> glowing oil, but it's just how it is. I'm drinking my coffee. The coffee is really good here. This is the current book I'm reading. I just finished, what I just finished? I just finished A Perfect Marriage. I'll put a picture of it here. If you're into like murder mystery, I really recommend it. It was like, I was very engaged and the ending made me really angry. I'll say that, but I recommend it if you're into like murder mystery, but this one, I'm not even sure what's going on yet. I'll be honest with you, but I picked this up last week um, at McNally Jackson, my local bookstore and in New York. And it's won a bunch of awards. It's very highly rated, but I think it is a more mature book. Maybe not in the subject matter, but more just like the way it's written. And I think I've been reading some, you know, easier books recently, so I'm not used to it. The first few chapters I was kind of confused and I didn't really know what was going on so I was going to be like, ugh, I'm not into this, I'm just going to start reading a different one. But, and then I read the back and it's starting to all make sense so I think I just need to get a little more into it. I'm only 40 pages in. It's so interesting being here because it's not like your regular beach vacation. There's no resorts, it's very like rustic and wild but I love it. So laid back, so chill. I just, I have needed like chill. This. Like I feel like living in New York, it's so toxic for like your work-life balance because I, I just never feel not stressed. Whereas like here, it's such a refreshing change to feel not stressed. Like I can just do whatever I want like and it's not a big deal. I don't know. <laughs> skincare and I'm gonna go back to the bathroom and show you guys after what I've been using because I actually have some really good favorites that I've been really loving lately if you guys are interested but I wanted to come outside to talk about today's sponsor and today's accessories which is Missouri really excited to be partnering with Missouri because they're a Toronto based company um, I grew up wearing Missouri, knowing about Missouri way before there was a Soho store. Like, it's super cool to be working with them. I love hoarding, you know, brands from my home. I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite pieces and the pieces I brought for my trip. To me, I identify Missouri as just very simple, timeless jewelry that's practical and will look good with everything. And while I'm on vacation, I like to wear jewelry that isn't too fussy, isn't gonna get caught on anything but you know just adds a little something without you know being too flashy all right we had to move inside it was too loud <laughs> but these are the two rings obsessed with them and then also brought a really just like dainty little chain and then for earrings i have three piercings so i'm going to be putting in three earrings if i can get my third ones to work Okay, so I just realized that my thirds have definitely closed. I thought they had really dainty baby hoops in my seconds. So I'm going to be switching out these studs and putting in the hoops. And then lastly, I'm going to be putting in these guys, which are, again, 
dainty hoops. These ones are much thinner. They're super lightweight, which I love. So I have my necklace, my two rings, and my two earrings. So on November 21st and November 22nd, anyone who has signed up for the Missouri newsletter will have access to the private sale. And then on the 23rd to the 28th will be the public sale. So if you can, I would really just sign up for the newsletter so you can get access to the private sale so nothing sells out and you get what you want on sale. This is their only sale of the whole entire year, so it's really now or never. I will have everything I showed you guys linked down below and some extras of things that I'm loving and excited to get on the sale. So um, yeah, thank you Missouri for sponsoring today's video and let's continue with the vlog. So I'll give you guys a bit of a tour of the Airbnb. It's beautiful. It was meant to be for me and Luca, but Luca couldn't come last minute, so it's just me. So when you walk in, you have this beautiful like bench situation, which I love. Um, and this is the kitchen. You can't drink tap water, so you have to drink filtered water. And then there's a little couch here. Hang my towels. And then these stairs lead up to a bedroom. You can go up there. This is one of the bedrooms. It's so cute. This is not where I've been sleeping, but really cute what's in here little scary closet the outside it's more vibrant in real life but this is from above just showed you and then as you can see we have a little private pool she's very cute it's nice to have like some privacy and then we have one bathroom here is the pool area and then in here is where I've been sleeping it's kind of a mess ignore the bed um, that's something I need to shoot today and then a little fun bamboo clothing rack I literally love the whole aesthetic of this place I want to live somewhere like here and then bathroom shower shower is so cute and some shelves. Those are my bathing suits. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys my skincare that I've been loving because let me just tell you, my skin has been absolutely awful the last month. You can kind of see just like so many breakouts along my chin. I had ingredients that were clogging my pores and you know, that's a recipe for disaster and now I'm like trying to heal my skin but I'm also a picker and it's really bad. I think a lot of it has to do with what you eat as well as you know how much water you drink um things like that but i have some products that i have like for specific problems that i think really work really well um i'm a huge fan of la roche posay i think that's how you say it um the F effect claire duo dual action um 5.5 benzoyl peroxide acne medication is really great for like spot treatment but be careful because this will really dry out your skin so i also use this psychoplast bomb b5s which is a multi-purpose cream i use it like a moisturizer or a spot cream so if i have like a drying out pimple or i don't know something or an open wound i will put this over it because it's super hydrating it's also really good for like my skin was really sunburnt last night so i literally put this on this like a face mask and my skin is like a lot more calm down and i right now i'm really suffering from closed comedones which is the literally the most annoying thing to ever have because you can't really pop them and the only way to really get rid of them is to go get them extracted and every time i get them extracted um i'm left with a million red marks which take a few weeks to really just completely go away um because they are extracting so much and i have so many it's like this is the real reality i do not have perfect skin right now whatsoever i honestly haven't in a really long time um but azelaic acid is something that helps them at least come to a head i've seen results in so i just finished a whole thing of the ordinary azelaic acid and now i'm using this paul's choice azelaic acid i think they're essentially the same thing and they do the same thing but I think with skincare, this key is consistency. I don't know, dude. I just wanted to show those products because I've genuinely seen results. And if you do suffer from like acne, none of this is for like 
cystic acne. I don't have cystic acne, but like random breakouts or closed comedones, those things are great for that. The sun is out, which means it's time to go get breakfast and go to the beach. I've been taking this tote bag with me to the beach every day. It's from Tropic of Sea. So cute. It's also where my bikini that I have been obsessed with. Like this dark chocolate brown bikini, but like the material is so nice and I'm just really obsessed with it. today um days here are unbelievably chill like i went to the beach came back here chilled watched the sunset i'll insert some little videos but i don't feel like vlogging here it's kind of weird i just feel like relaxing that's kind of what i've been doing but yeah i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna eat some chips it's like the only snack we have and i'm too lazy to go the store um and edit this video and watch survivor tonight um this has just kind of been a really reflective trip for me and really like allowed me to like take break relax i didn't do much work on this trip at all which i'm happy about because i feel like i can go back to new york refreshed but at the same time it's also made me really realize that like as much as i love new york I just I, I don't know how much longer I want to live there just because like I could just see myself living life in like somewhere like here like half of the year maybe or I don't know it could just be I don't know the shower just turned on and I didn't turn it on but yeah I just wanted to thank you guys because this trip would not have been possible if it wasn't for you guys um, so I'm just very grateful and I am going to be putting more effort into YouTube this year, 100%, like going into 2023, that's crazy, but I really want to focus on YouTube and reconnect and give you guys more content. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys back in New York.